I'm going to show you the peekaboo head movement drills, starting with moving your head from side to side or slipping. So when you're in your peekaboo boxing stance, let me get a little bit closer to the camera. You're going to have your hands, remember your hands are protecting your, your face and your chin. Elbows are pulled in, protecting the liver and everything down here. I'm going to have that slight crouch or that medium bend in, in the legs. Okay, so I'm here. So the working the side to side, it's almost like an upside down pendulum swinging back and forth or windshield wipers. So I'm going to bend at the waist. Okay, what I'm not doing is just moving my shoulders in. That's a different type of slipping action. Valid, but just different from the peekaboo. Here, I'm going to bend at the side and bend to the side. This shoulder comes forward like maybe about an inch or two. Okay, and when I go one way, I'm going to get used to going back and forth, back and forth like this, moving my head side to side. If you watch my slip bag video, you'll see where the slip bag helps teach this motion. So the first motion is going to be slipping or moving side to side. So I'm here, moving side to side. That is the first peekaboo head movement that you need to learn. The second Peekaboo head movement is just a duck or a bob. So I'm in my peekaboo boxing stance. I'm just gonna bend at the knees and drop straight down and back up. Okay, remember I'm in that crouch position. I'm just gonna bob down and bob up. Okay, bob down or duck and pop up. Bob down and pop up. Remember the duck is kind of dangerous because in the peekaboo boxing system, you always wanna get your head off to one side or the other. If you stay in the middle, you're more vulnerable to uppercuts up the middle. So I'm in my stance, I'm gonna go down and back. Remember the first one, side to side. So now I can add that duck. Side, side, slip, slip, duck. Or I can duck, slip, slip. Side to side, bending at the waist. And when I do the duck, I bend at the knees and sit down. I wanna keep my head up my eyes on my opponent and my hands on my face. Like that. That is peekaboo head movement number two. Okay, peekaboo head movement number three. We're gonna do a quick review. Number one is the side to side slipping punches, bending at the waist, keeping the hands up high, moving your head side to side. The second one is the duck or the bob, right? Is duck down. So I can go side to side and duck. Number three is gonna be the bob and weave, the weave, roll, whatever you wanna call it. That's where I roll under punches, mainly hooks, in, a, in like a letter U type motion. So I'm here, I'm gonna to go to my left hand side first. I'm gonna roll under. It's almost like I do the bob. That's where you get the bob and weave part, or the duck. I duck down and roll. Okay, usually when I bob and weave, I don't pop straight back up. I kind of stay in that downward position and then I can go back the other way. If I start from, to go this side, I'm gonna duck or bob, bob and weave. So doing it together. So now that is the third peekaboo head movement. It's the peekaboo boxing system is really quite simple. There's three head movements. Three head movements, side to side, you're slipping, your duck, and your bob and weave. Then you can start combining all three of them. I might slip, slip, roll, roll. I might duck, slip, slip, roll, roll. I might roll, slip, depending on which, what's coming at me in punching or my strategy for setting my counter punches up. Remember the head movement can be used defensively, but it can also mean be used offensively. That is it for the intro part of the head movement. Now let's look at some head movement drills. Okay, now we're gonna go over some basic drills to get you started moving your head. Starting with the slipping motion or the windshield wiper pendulum type motion side to side. He's just gonna throw single jabs at me. So I get used to just waiting for the punch to move and then slip my head one way or the other. Usually at the beginning, I'll go back and forth. So um, when you're facing your opponent, he's gonna throw that jab and it's gonna move my head to the side.
really focusing on bending at the waist. I'm not coming in too far. I'm not going down too far. Just a full range of motion, okay? Like I said in one of my previous videos, when you're drilling, you wanna practice full range of motion. Me, even though in sparring, you might throw that jab, and I might throw a, I do a little slip, okay? I'll minimize it or cut, trim off the fat when I'm actually sparring, but when I'm drilling, I wanna practice that full range of motion because a lot of people just bob their head like this, okay? That's what you don't wanna do, you can get hit. Bobbing your head is something totally different. It's a different strategy to set something else up. But when you're doing peekaboo slips, you want that full range of motion. Get used to that full range of motion. So one more time, it goes to jail, I slip. And the closer I am to my opponent when I'm drilling, the faster my reflexes have to be. So start relatively close. Here. And then when you get better at it, he's gonna throw one jab, I'm gonna move my head twice. And then return back to the middle, wait for him to jab again. So he throws one jab, move my head twice. Okay? That is the first drill for the slip side to side. And then you can do the same thing for the duck. When he's in front of your opponent, I'm gonna duck. Okay, you can break up the rhythm, but just getting used to that, having something come at you. If you're more experienced and been slipping punches, but wanna work this peekaboo head movement, you can mix up, add different drills, different rhythms, whatever you want to do. But if it's someone like a beginner, they just need to focus on technique with something coming at you. So now the third one, the hooks, he's just going to throw single hook punches at my head. So he's going to start at the left, I'm going to bob and weave. Making that small letter U. Two things I'm not doing. When he throws that right hook, I'm not bending at the waist, bending completely over. In amateur boxing, the referee would stop it and go like this and tell you to keep your head up. Okay? I want to bend at the legs, stick my butt out, and roll my head underneath. And I'm going to make that letter U. Remember, I'm not doing this. I'm not just ripping my head. I'm going to do the full range of motion. So he throws that left hook, full range of motion. Okay, that is stationary drills, especially for the, dr the beginner with the three basic head movements. Okay, the next progression in training your peekaboo head movement is, I'm gonna first start with the slipping. Now he's gonna move around like we're sparring and just throw jabs at me, trying to touch me in the forehead with the jab, but he's gonna use broken rhythm and throw the jab at me. And I'm just gonna work that side to side. I might get hit, but this is where you gotta train it. This is a drill that's closer to actual sparring. All right, so if we move around, you throw on that. I'm just gonna move my head. Usually I get in the habit of moving it more than once. So that is the first slipping motion using the jab. Now I can add in the duck. So I'm gonna use the side to side and I can add in that duck. Moves around, same thing. Okay, adding in the duck. Now, the next progression is, he can throw single jabs or single crosses at me. So I gotta slip or duck the jab or the cross. So we're moving around. You can see I'm moving my head, putting in the slip or the duck. And then the last progression is he can throw either a jab, a cross, a lead hook, or a rear hook. Just one punch at a time. Okay? One punch at a time. So we're here. As you can see, I'm moving my head using the three different peekaboo head movements. But you can see something I did a little bit different as I slipped the hook. This is another way you can use the slip 
is when they throw that left hook at my head, it's going to hit here, right? So when he does it, I slip it. So the slip is actually two-dimensional, okay? So let's, for instance, he throws that jab. This is the first dimension, just right here and right back. He throws the jab here and back. If I want to add a second dimension, I'm going to go down a little bit deeper to the second plane. So let's say he throws a jab, I can go a little bit lower with it. Okay, normally if it's just a jab, I don't do that. But if he threw a jab cross, what I normally don't do is this, slip, slip. Usually the jab cross is too fast. Okay, so if he throws a jab and a cross, I would just throw one slip. You see, I go under both of them. So he throws a little quicker, boom, here. And I'm setting up for my counter punches. Same thing with the hook. He throws that lead hook. I can slip and let the hook go right over my head. He throws the rear hook. Slip, let the hook go over my head. So I use these three movements against a variety of different punches. For instance, the uppercut, okay? He throws that right uppercut, slip, move my head out of the way. He throws that left uppercut, slip, move my head offline, let the uppercut pass, okay? So that is the three basic head movements of peekaboo boxing. Now this last part, I'm gonna show you like your backup defenses, okay? Your backup defenses. So maybe you just mistimed it, or let's say you slip and you go back home and then another punch comes, you don't have enough time to slip. The first thing we're gonna do is called a catch. Usually I catch with my rear hand. When he throws that jab, ideally I wanna slip and slip and rip, okay? I just don't wanna slip all these punches. I wanna to get to the point where he throws that jab, I slip and throw my, my counter shots. Okay, but let's say I, I slip and come home and he finds another one, I can do a catch. I'm gonna take that rear hand, keep my hands high and just catch it and stop it. So he throws the jab, throws the jab, and so I'm working my head movement and catch. He throws that cross, I can catch it with my rear hand. I can do a little parry if I have to, okay? These are not ideal, okay, because I want him to completely miss so I can hit him with the counter punch, okay? So, the other one you can do, okay, is just to have him punch your defense. Have your hands a little higher, like a high guard. So let's say he throws a jab, and I have my hands up. I just take, I catch it on my defense. He throws a hook. I catch it on my defense, my tight defense. Okay? Let's say he throws a jab cross hook. I'm like, boom, boom, and then roll. Okay? Having your hands in that tight defensive position helps me catch the punches. Remember, your stance is your defense, all right? If I'm all loosey-goosey, you know, I don't, if these punches get in, I don't have nothing to protect myself. So as a last resort, I have my hand, my, my stance is my defense, okay? So just a quick review, you got your side to side, you got your duck, you got your bob and weave, okay? Keeping the hands up. And then as a backup defense, you got your high guard, your stance, taking punches here on the forearms and whatnot, and then you got that catch, I catch. If you watch Mike Tyson spar, and I have several sparring clips on my YouTube channel, you'll see him, he'll be slip, slip, catch. Because sometimes you just can't slip every punch. It's almost impossible. But you wanna do, for the most part, is move your head. And most of the time, you're gonna move your head before they even punch, and those punches are just gonna whiz by, okay? Once you get that down, the final drill you can work on is he can throw single punches or combinations. This is where you're really going to get good, and you're going to see that sometimes just having your hands up, it helps shield those punches because it's hard to slip every single punch or roll. All right, so he's going to move around just throw light and loose punches at me. Step, slip. You go backwards. You said I did a two-dimensional slip. Okay, sky's the limit with the different drills you can do with this, but you can see sometimes I get hit on my defense. It's gonna happen, okay? But just drilling your head movement, getting used to drilling your head movement. 
One thing I did not mention of the peekaboo boxing system, one of the main goals is getting in close so I can open with those close quarter shots, hooks and uppercuts. So when he's throwing punches at me, I might just stay out a little bit, but my goal is to, to throw a combination, is to work my way in, get close, and then get to one side or the other so I can do my combinations. Okay, but that's for another video. Thank you for watching. That is it for the head movement peekaboo boxing drill.